A long wait for justice. The family of a San Francisco woman killed more than 20 years ago while working is hoping that a new reward will help solve the case. KTVU's Amber Lee joins us now. She's in San Francisco where she spoke with the victim's family and cold case investigators. Amber. Julie, I spoke with the family here at police headquarters and met cold case investigators at the scene of the crime. They say they hope renewed attention on this case will lead to the person responsible for the killing. Cold case investigators with the San Francisco Police Department put up flyers Tuesday evening, offering a new $100,000 reward in the killing of Thea Slater in the Bayview District. They hope it will bring renewed attention to a case that has remained unsolved for more than two decades. Lead us in prayer. Her family gathered at police headquarters to pray for answers and justice. They tell me their memories of that day are still clear. Daughter Taisha Slater was an 18-year-old college student at the time. Not having that, that motherly guidance, uh, having my first child and, and uh, doing it alone. <clears throat> yeah. The 39-year-old single mother of three was killed the afternoon of October 19, 2002, while working in this townhouse on Navy Road. It was disbelief. I uh, didn't want to believe it. And for a long time, I didn't, did not believe that this had happened to my niece. Very, very difficult. Police say she was installing carpets on the third floor when someone came into the home through an unlocked door. It all started on the top floor and then it uh, ended up down on the first floor in the bathroom. Investigators say Slater fought for her life and was found dead on the first floor with multiple stab wounds. I believe that she was targeted that day and went right to where she was and that where the, the struggle ensued. And uh, she was stabbed and it ended up downstairs and she ended up dying because of the stab wounds. I believe it was totally intentional. Slater's family says she was sober and recovering from drug addiction. Relatives and police say they don't know if her past played a role in her killing. Investigators say they are retesting DNA found at the scene. And she did not deserve this and justice will be served. I love you, mommy. I miss you. The investigators say Slater was killed on a Saturday afternoon with plenty of people around. They hope that with a new reward, someone who knows something will come forward. Julie? Amber, I'm just curious. The investigators seem to really firmly believe that she was targeted. Uh, did they say why? And that it they wasn't did not. Random? They played this one pretty close. They do not believe it's random. They believe it was targeted because she was working there. There was a window of about 90 minutes. They said that person knew there was a door. It was open. They came in. They attacked her. It was very deliberate. It appeared to be intentional. Well, let's hope this big new reward will help spur someone to come forward with information that can help solve this case. Amber, thank you.